Hello students, this is Shaquille and today I'm here to discuss something about physics and we're going to discuss the measurements and their errors in AQA physics and today's topic is estimations of physical quantities. This is a very short topic of uh, this first chapter of measurements and their errors. So as its name is suggesting, uh, we are going to estimate the physical quantities. Let's say you're going to measure the, uh, you're going to estimate the mass of something, uh, let's say mass of an apple. Everyone knows that in one kilogram, around five or six, uh, or at times seven pieces of apple can be there. So we can tell that the mass of one apple can be from 100 gram to 150 gram. In the similar way, we used to measure the length. That's why we can predict the height of a adult person that is around 1.7 meter. So uh, in the same way, uh, we can uh, estimate the value of mass of a car, the kinetic energy of a car on a highway. So basically, <clears throat> this <clears throat> topic will be related to estimating the physical quantities of all types, whether at very small scale or at very large scale. <clears throat> okay, so uh, estimation of the physical quantity. So first of all, uh, we have to see uh, the first important thing is order of magnitude. Order, order means that whenever any number is expressed uh, in power of 10, then we say that this is order of magnitude. As an example, everyone knows the, the fastest uh, thing in the whole universe is uh, the speed of electromagnetic um, radiation, let's say light. So its speed is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second, which we can write like this. Too many zeros are over there. So the order of magnitude of 3 into 10 to the power 8 is just 10 to the power 8 because we only have to write 10 to the power in order to express the order of the magnitude. So the order of the magnitude uh, follows some rounding of rules as well. Let's say if you have a value of 6 into 10 to the power 8, so then it will be 10 to the power 9. Why? Because you can turn this 6, round off this 6 into 10. So this is 10 power 1. So then you can write it as 10 power 9. But for this light, as it is 3, so 3 is closer to 1. That's why we will be writing is at 1 into 10 to the power 88. And it is uh, 10 to the power 8. Okay, the next thing is uh, if a quantity of an order of magnitude larger than another quantity, if it's about 10 times larger, let's say this is comparing two values. And this is the rule that if there is a difference of 10 times or larger, then we will say that uh, they have a different order of magnitude. If it is less than 10, we would not be saying that. So let's say um, uh, in the similar way, the two orders of magnitude would be 100 times larger. So that is 10 to the power 2. In physics, order of magnitude can be very large or very small, of course. Um, let's say if you compare the diameter of our solar system, right? Or you compare the diameter of an uh, atom, right? So there is great difference between these two values. So when estimating values, it is best to give the estimate of an order of magnitude that is nearest to power of 10. Uh, so let's say uh, our Milky Way, uh, the galaxy in which we are residing currently, um, the diameter of the Milky Way is this. Oh my God, too many zeros are there. So let's see how many zeros are there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it means it is 10 to the power 21. So the order of diameter of uh, our Milky Way is 10 to the power 21 meters. Okay, so here we go. 
Oh, it was over there. So let's say it can be written as 1 into 10 to the power 21. So the order of magnitude of our Milky Way galaxy is 10 to the power 21. Okay, uh, when we express these values in order of 10, then it will be easier to compare their relative sizes. Let's say, uh, for example, if a quantity with order of magnitude of 10 to the power 6 is 10,000 times larger than a quantity with a magnitude of 10 to the power 2. So if we have a value of 10 to the power 6 and if we have a value of 10 to the power 2, how much is the difference between them? So we say, okay, just do it like this and it will be, this will be shifting up and minus 2. So 6 minus 2 is 10 to the power 4 and you know 10 to the power 4 means that four zeros in front of 1. So that means that 10 to the power 6 is 10,000 times bigger than 10 to the power 2. So 10 to the power 6 is 10,000 times larger than 10 to the power 2. So this is the comparison between them. Okay, the next thing is uh, there is some uh, things that we have to understand. We have to know the first thing is distance of the edge of the observable universe and that is too much like let's say the diameter of our universe uh, the approximate length is 4.40 times power 26 so we'll be only counting 10 to the power 26 you don't have to remember this you just have to know this so the distance from earth to the neptune 4.5 into the power 12 so we will be using 10 to the power 12 because this is number if the number is less than 5 then that number would be turned into 1 and if that number is greater than 5, equal or greater than 5, then that number would be turned into 10. So distance from London to Cape Town, it's 9.7 times per 6, but as it is 9.7, so it will be turned into 10 to the power 1. 10 to the power 1 into 10 to the power 6, so the total will be 10 to the power 7. The length of the human, it is 1.7. So 1.7 is 10 to the power 0. How? Because 1.7 can be rounded off to 1. And 1 means 10 power 0, because then 10 power 0 is 1. That's why this is over order of magnitude. The length of an ant, so this is 9 into 10 to the power minus 4. So you know this 9 can be turned into 10. So 10 to the power 1 into 10 to the power minus 4. So this is 1 minus 4, which is 10 to the power minus 3. And the length of the bacteria, 2 into 10 to the power minus 6, so as 2 is less than Ten, so it is only 10 to the power negative 6. So in this chart, we just have seen that how to round off the number with the mag order of 10. Okay, uh, let's do an example. Uh, you have to estimate the order of magnitude of the following quantities. Uh, the temperature of the surface of the sun in Kelvin. So we know that it is 6000 Kelvin. So uh, 6,000 Kelvin means 6 into 10 to the power 3. But as this is 6, so you can round that off to 10. So it is like this. So 10 to the power 1 plus 10 to the power 3 is 10 to the power 4. So this will be your answer, 10 to the power 4. So 1 is done. The power of a standard light bulb and the volume of room in your air, uh, we will, uh, sorry, the volume of room you are in, we will look upon that. So first of all, it's for the sun, which I have already done, so it's 10 power 4. Then the power of standard light bulb, the normal power is 60 watt. Nowadays, it is less than 60, but let's say it is 60. So uh, order of magnitude of 10 to the power uh, 2 watt. How? Because 10 to the power 2 means 10 into 10, so which means it is 100. So you know that this is closer to 100, so that's why we will not write 60, but we will write 10 to the power 2. And for the volume of air, uh, it depends on the room you are, what you have to do. The room is usually in rectangle. You measure length, width, and height. And let's say for a cubic room, if the length is 3, uh, width is 3, and height is 3, 3 into 3 into 3, so you get 27. Now, this 27, uh, this is the order of magnitude is 10 meter cube. 10. Why 10? Because... Uh, this 27, you have to either make it closer to 100 or you have to either make it closer to 10. So it is not closer to 100, but it is closer to 10. That's why the order is 10 is power 1 meter 
you because you have to write everything in the power of 10. Okay, so, um, well, uh, we have to look upon some more estimations. There are some very important physical quantities that you learned, let's say kinetic energy, power, resistance, resistivity, energy. So it is useful to know these physical quantities. Uh, they are particularly useful for making estimates. A few examples uh, I'm going to discuss again. Uh, let's say length of an atom. It is 10 to the power minus 10. We, you can also say it is the diameter. Then wavelength of UV light, it is 10 nanometer. We'll study that in waves. Height of adult human, uh, 2 meter or 1.8 meter. It's fine, completely fine. Distance between Earth and the sun is this. We can uh, calculate that as well using V is D by T and D is V into T. And we know that the speed of light is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second. And it has been told to us that light takes almost five minutes to reach us. Five minutes from sun to earth. So you multiply that. So this is three fives are 15. And uh, 15 into 60 into 10 is power 8. So again, you will solve that. So it is around, uh, you can say, 800 into 10 is power 8. So 800 can be 1,000, and you know 1,000 is 10 to the power 3, so you add them, so it is 10 to the power 11, that's why the magnitude is 10 to the power 11, this doesn't matter. Mass of the hydrogen atom, 10 to the power minus 27, why? Because hydrogen is having only one proton, right? Everyone knows it is having one proton. And it is given in the data sheet that the, mat, the insert that the mass of a nucleon is 1.66 into 10 power minus 27 kg. So as there is only one um, proton over there, so we ignore this, and it is 10 to the power minus 27. Mass of adult human, around 70. Okay, that's fine. Uh, but if you want to write in order of magnitude, then it will be 10 power 2 because 70 is closer to 200. Mass of a car is 1,000, and seconds in the day, everyone knows, in a day, 24 hours, 60 minutes, and 60 seconds, so you can convert that. These are just the values that you need to know. Okay, and then you need to know about uh, some more values, and let's say those values are written over here, so let's say seconds in a year, so what you'll do is, for a day, you will multiply that with the 365. So 365 into 86,400, because in one day, there are 86,400 seconds. Um, speed of sound in air, everyone knows 300, power of light bulb around 60, and atmospheric pressure is this, and then some more thing, air density. Air density is one kilogram per meter cube, and the water density, because these are the things that we use in everyday life, that is 1,000 kg per meter cube. Okay, let's do a work example. Sometimes uh, there are estimations that you cannot measure directly. You have to use a formula, and then you have to put some value in that. So let's say, estimate the energy required, estimate the energy required for an adult man to walk up a flight of stairs. So we have to estimate, this is over first estimate that the mass is 70 kg. Then this is over second estimate that the height of stairs is usually three meters, usually three or four meters. So then we say, okay, uh, we know that the energy that person will gain at the end is mgh. So mass is 70, g is approximately 10. Uh, it is 9.8, but you can use 10 because it is estimation. So you multiply that, so you get 2,100 joule. So you will say that person is having energy of 2,100 or he needs to do 2,100 joule of work to cover these uh, flight of stairs. Okay, in the similar way, let's say uh, if we are asked to look for kinetic energy of a car on highway, if you have to measure that, how you will measure that. So the first thing that you will be doing is, 
is the formula for the kinetic energy, which is one by two mv square. The second thing that you're going to do is the estimation and estimations about mass and estimation about the speed of the car. The mass of the car is around 1000 kilogram, the average family car. And on the highway, uh, the speed of the car is around 100 kilometer per hour, 100 kilometer per hour. So what you do is you convert that into meters per second like that so this is meters per second and then you simply calculate its value and then you're going to use this inside the formula and what is the formula the formula that i have written so doing so um, the speed will be 27.8 meter per second and now you're good to use this formula so use this formula here so kinetic energy is one by two mass is 1000 and speed is 27.8 square so doing so you will get the answer as 386111 so this is the answer but of course you have to round it off so just round it off to 40 So this is 400,000 Joule. So now you can write it as four into 10 to the power five Joule. And you know this four is closer to one. So the order of magnitude will be 10 to the power five Joule. So this is the order of magnitude for kinetic energy of a car. So now we have to look for kinetic energy of an athlete in 100 meter race. The same thing. So uh, we know the formula, which is one by two mv square, uh, and we know that the mass of the athlete is assumed to be seventy. This is our estimation. So this is the calculation based estimations. So the first estimation is about the mass of athlete, and the second is of course about its speed. So these are the two estimations that you have to predict, and then you have to use the formula. So you know that in a 100 meter race, that ends up too quickly. So the uh, runners usually take 10 seconds. The best runners uh, in the Olympics take uh, 10 seconds. You know, this time in the Olympics in Paris, uh, this was happened first time that in a 100 meter race, a uh, man race, um, all the content con contestants who fin who were at the finish line were having a difference, have a time difference of only 0.25 seconds. Like the time difference between the first and the last position holder was 0 0.25 second. So we can say this is 10 meter per second. Just put it over there and just try to solve it. So uh, it's almost like uh, 3,500. Or at times we can write it 4,000 as well because of some mass or speed estimation. So uh, this can be written as 4 into 10 to the power 3. And as four is closer to one, so it means that the order of magnitude would be 10 to the power three. Oh, here we go. Uh, we have already done with that. Very smart work. Okay, so which statement is incorrect by a factor? Incorrect. It means three will be correct and only one will be incorrect. By a factor of 100 or more. 100 or more. It means you have to see that um, uh, there are four values. So it means you already know the actual value and then you have to see that whether this value, which value is written uh, by a factor of 100 or more and then its original value. So let's look upon first. Atmospheric pressure is the air pressure, which is one into times per five, absolutely correct. Light takes five into times per two seconds to reach from us. Five into times per two is five into 100. And this is 500 second and 500 second divided by 60 almost give you eight point something minutes. So yeah, that is true. We know that it is eight minutes. So that's absolutely fine. The frequency of ultraviolet light is this. We don't know anything about it. So we'll look upon how to do that. The lifespan of a man is about two into 10 per nine. Well, we can do some working on this. You know that in one year, uh, the seconds are this, 86,000 
400. 86,400 is actually seconds in a day, in a day. And you can do that by multiplying, uh, multiplying, let's say one day into 24 hours, into 60 minutes, into 60 seconds, you, you end up with this. So we know that in one year, these are the number of seconds. So what we can do is we can find uh, the number of seconds in one year, that is 31,536,000 seconds. So uh, then how many how many years are there in 2 into 10 to the power 9? So just divide it with 3153600 and you will get your answer. So I'm going to divide that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 divided by 315. Three six triple zero. So that comes out to be sixty three point four years. So yes. So the average lifespan of a man is sixty three point four percent. So, uh, well, this this is true then. So as we know that these three are absolutely right. So even if we don't know about the next option. Actually, that is our answer. So this is our answer. The frequency of ultraviolet light is 3 into 10 to the power 12. So it is actually not 3 into 10 to the power 12. So how much is that? Let me tell you about that. So read my inner values using X-ray glasses. So ultraviolet comes here. So um, it is almost its, its frequency is very high, it's 10 to the power minus eight. So um, we know that V is equal to F lambda and F is equal to V by lambda. So V is three to 10 to the power eight and lambda is um, 10 to the power minus eight, this goes up. So this is three to 10 to the power 16. So this is the actual frequency and you can see that this is written as 3 into 10 to the power 12. So there is a difference of 10 to the power 4. So that means this is our option, which was incorrect. So thank you so much, students. I hope uh, you learned uh, the estimations in a good way. So you need to uh, watch the video very carefully, make your notes, and solve the questions. And you can ask uh, me about any thing that comes in the way. Thank you so much. See you again.